Hey guys, welcome back to another Windows 10 Mobile and Windows Phone apps of the months and weeks. And uh, from the last couple of weeks, I was unable to post any because my other devices are quite busy in you know uh, updating to the release preview bits of the Windows 10 Mobile. And since I need to go back to the Windows 10 Mobile, so I don't have any Windows 8.1 device as of now. So I was couldn't able to check that device. But whatever I have, I'm going to show you guys. I have tested that on 8.12, and let me show you guys exactly. Uh, what are those apps? So today I am going to show you guys the Lumia 1020 trending Windows and Mobile build 10.5.8.2 and I will post this uh, build review video very soon so you can watch that too and uh, among a lot of apps I have selected 5 only and I have few other apps I am making in uh, they are under my observation I will first figure it out whether that really I should post that app review or not because I just don't put any apps randomly until unless there is something good on that that can really help you so the first app we see here is called the time sense So um, what is that all about? It is a fun app that can exactly tell you how much time you have used your device on your phone and how much time you have logged in and logged. So in this way, the best environment that you can check out the screen on time. For example, if you're using the Android phones, if you have, you can check out the settings. It shows how much exactly hours your phones have been used. So in this phone, uh, there is no such way until you use some of the app and this app has a feature for example you can see on the modding i have used this and for one hour four minute and 19 seconds and also shows number of times this is uh, this is applicable when you manually use any button or any app to do that for example this is six i just did a refresh this is six and i use this this is some third party app called touch and lock and if i go back and check that app make a refresh it shows those seven right you can see and it shows the number of uh, minimum minute that you can use uh, minimum three minutes average 21 minute and 36 to maximum it shows the number of hours you can see number of locks you have done and also you can download and set a reminder and you can check out for how long duration in which duration you have how much time you have spent on your phone and this is very good guys and this is universal app now it is password protected it used windows hello feature if you have the lumia 950 950 xl you can use this uh, to unlock with your iris scanner unfortunately i can show you guys this demo right here and uh, you can see the duration too and also reminds you that for example you can see i just set a reminder if i use my device more than one hour it should so if i make this uh, 10 minute it will again come back and show the reminder so this is that all about i will put the link uh, in the show more notes and you can also read the same under my app cell phone so let me tell you guys exactly where you can read it here so if you go to an app so under here you can see this is a section recommended as you can watch this video here and i will put that uh, in the gi support reviews you can read exactly the complete text of all the apps and links in description so you can read out there all right so let's begin guys and show the second app second app we have here is called action note and this is the icons called action note and what is this app all about it's a very quick note quick note taking app guys uh, which you can directly take to the action center unlike the other normal app you need to open the app first or there's some shortcut you need to click on that then you can get the you know whatever notes you want to do but as the name suggests it's called action notes there is something must be there if you go there and for example i have just uh, taken a note few times back it is a text i have entered and this is the image i uploaded there just for demo if I go and check again on that, it will hopefully display it again here. This is action note app and this is how this UI looks like. So this is where upload we just take it here. When you take here, uh, for example, if I took here windows, phone apps, demo, video, sometime it doesn't work you can see yeah, swipe is not working okay anyways uh, fine and also i can upload any image right here so if you upload browse an image it will take the image click on the save button and uh, now if you go to the this uh, action center you can see you got a new note here windows phone apps so that's a bug here it is not taking from the quick notes here doesn't didn't sing here so this is how you can take quick notes here and if you keep it on background it will give you guys exactly the warning and everything whenever you take it you can set the reminder too and this is a very nice app it's also universal here and always persistent to action center until unless you won't remove it there so if you are using that app it's very quick each time you it is also show a notification here so it's very nice app and the third app we see here guys is called nperf speed test so nperf has a name is that called network performance speed test
Unlike the general uh, app, which just uh, if you download any of that, for example, the Microsoft has one app called Network Test. So uh, it just shows the upload and download limit. But this app has something different. Uh, for example, uh, it's not just a simple network speed test. You can do a speed test, routing, browsing test, website loading test, streaming test. For example, I just tested my network. It shows exactly. You can say uh, 86.2 for the streaming test, 48.01. Find this test and it shows the complete Wi-Fi technology broadband provider Airtel. Even it shows the Wi-Fi name that you are using. It's uh, called the IS Wi-Fi. If I do the restart, you can see it guys uh, launch the full test here. So it shows a complete test. For example, it's doing download and uploading test. So you can even verify. You can uh, and you can even save the result. All the connection types over up to one gigs per second speed. For 2G, 3G, LTE, or 4G, WiMAX, Wi-Fi, then everything you can test. Test your connection, diagnose connection issue, keep your internet service provider and carriers honest. If there is something claim, and you can check out there and verify. No, you are telling wrong. Full QS test in few seconds. Test your bit rate, speed, latency, browsing, and everything. Also, comparison function. Compare result with those other users. You can see here. So this is how you can see. You can see it is checking now a couple of the browsers: Google, Facebook, Yahoo, Wikipedia, and it shows exactly how much time your network takes and when opening and browsing websites. So it's very nice, app, guys. Uh, you should keep it there before you when you take a new connection and all that to really tell you on your location whether that service is working fine or not. You can take a couple of your SIM card from your friends, insert in there, and check that everything there. So now it is doing. You can say streaming test for the video streamings. So it does in three format: 240p, 360p, 720p. So it randomly play Google videos, uh, kind of stuffs internally. So it verifies everything there. So this is very nice, app guys. I really like that. Uh, in case uh, if you switch network and area, now it is loading 360p videos. So based on that one, it will let you know. For your which network is best for what, whether for streaming, whether for surfing, whether for uploading, downloading. So as of now, this Airtel seems to be fine. You can see 90.8 percent it turns into 50p if you use 250p format, and 360p is 93.6. Now see 720 HD video. How does it perform, sir? So I will put all the download links in the show more notes, and you can also read in the cell phone app. I can check out there. You can see uh, browsing speed is 52.4, but the streaming is very fast in Airtel, and download and upload is very nice. You can see 0.73. It comes to roughly near 7 to 800 MKB per second, and download speed is it is 8 Mbps least line, so it shows 8 uh, 8.72 Mbps. It's very good. So this is the step all about. Now let's see our next step here. The next step here is called the Tool Crate Pro, and I'm About this app, uh, it is uh, some of the system tools that can be very helpful. Coming to the features, like and this is the icon here. If you see, this is called the Toolkit Pro. And uh, this Pro means you need to have some remove ads and feature functionality, and uh, maybe some features limited, or they have some trial base. If you like that, you can definitely buy that. You can see how this UI looks like, and you have features like time meter, convenient, and so many things. You need converter, currencies. Uh, this is not that there are so many apps which does all these things, but there is a reason why I put that. And guys, uh, this and uh, And also, uh, there are quick settings and uh, shortcuts you can. I will tell it, let you know why the reason I use this. First, let us see the quick settings. So you can have all the settings, and you can even pin down to the uh, start screen. For example, this is the. They have some ads here, so this is only pin to start. Pin to start is there, and now it will update it. So this is what uh, you can say. If I click here, it will lock the phone. So in case uh, your device doesn't have this, you know, if your some uh, you know your phone has a lock problem and everything, you can use this app to have a couple of the shortcuts here. Now coming to the main feature that I want to use, that guys, this app. So the my only reason for this, uh, if you guys are on Windows and mobile, and you can see there is an inbuilt voice recorder app feature is there. It's not there in Windows Phone 8.1, but Windows 10 mobile has uh, this feature, voice recording. And but there is a limitation; it's not working in the background. Now, if it is uh, screen is locked, it is not working. So uh, you can uh, you can watch this is video title for the comparison of the Android apps with this Windows and mobile voice recording feature. It's very helpful video. You can watch that. And if you use this app, uh, you cannot record the voice. Is the phone is locked? So this is the reason because I do lot of recordings for my meetings. Uh, I use this app now. If you go to the Toolkit Pro, it won't work in the background. I didn't. I tried to check. It is not working, and they didn't even mention. Maybe I will put that again and check. So here, if you use this, uh, now if you use this recorder, you can see here. Uh, if I click on here, this recorder is, is on. You can uh, click this button. It will start recording, and it does work in the lock screen. And I tested that. And uh, suppose uh, you. Set the lock screen time for one minute. You start recording for a minute, and if you lock your phone and you can come back again, you will be able to see your lock 
screen recordings are done so this is why i recommend this app if you want guys want a recorder app which does work after the lock screen because because you cannot keep your phone unlocked all the time it may consume a lot of batteries normally phones have screen on time for at least maximum four to five to hours nowadays no matter how much beefy is a battery so definitely it is good way if you guys want any lock any recording app under the lock screen right and the next app and the final app we have here is called win tool and there's also a good reason why i am using this app because it also has the same feature that other apps for example this toolkit pro app it does provide you this ruler compass protector level and qr code also there for example windows phone 8.1 doesn't have have this qr code and windows the mobile doesn't have this button is now for the bing search and the cortana feature this qr code has been removed so using this uh, wind tool let us see what are the things on there so this wind tool has the stuffs it's a freeware app and the problem with that the only reason i use this it exactly tell you guys all the system information that you wanted there and some of the features like flashlight qr qr code and genit converter it shows a lot of converting feature like volume power pressure temperature uh, if you guys have student you can use a lot of these compasses here and let me show you guys exactly device info it reads you all stuff like how much ram is used how much rom is used shows exact thing this phone number looking model number os version you can see screen size complete hardware information processor ram core display technology gpu everything you can read for any devices if on which you will install the camera the 14 megapixel front 1.2 led flash digital zoom battery size capacity and wi-fi network so this is the reason i use using this tool to get the device info in case you want to verify there is some cleanup where this is internally going to the phone settings and the storage nothing worse in windows 10 mobile if you go to the storage setting you will get this feature this is going there and it has some couple of the features like a ruler to compass i already told change rate shortcuts you can create for some of the shortcuts for example uh, tap to lock if i just see pin to start the tap to lock is done here if i use this so normally all that because this is api that is microsoft enable so all the apps generally developer they can use this feature so this is all the apps guys for this week's and uh, i will try to come back soon uh, maybe in a couple of weeks or days uh, whenever i get any good app information for you so you can read as said you can read all the, you can get all the download information in the video description itself and on the my app cell phone you can read out there and check there so stay tuned guys and give that thumbs up if you like that video and don't forget to subscribe to watch me let me in the comments which app exclusively we are looking for we'll try to make a dedicated video to finding that apps particularly for you and stay tuned thanks for watching guys again have a nice day ahead